guys, um, today's tarantula video is going to be on molting. Um, I'm going to cover how to kind of determine whether your tarantula is in pre-molt, um, what to do when they reach the molting stage uh, and what happens um, and then after they've molted uh, what I do and how I determine the sex of a tarantula uh, by the molt. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you're going to see in this video. Uh, I hope you all enjoy. So as you can see here, the tarantula's abdomen is a kind of dark greyish, almost black sort of colour. A few hairs have been kicked off and um, it's been off its food for a couple of weeks, this one as well. Um, which are all signs that it could well be in pre-molt. If you see these signs of your tarantula, I'd suggest keeping the humidity up and uh, any prey that's in the, you, you put in the enclosure with it Make sure you take it out before you say go to bed at night. Don't leave it in there with the tarantula. Um, so yeah, it's these sort of signs you've got to look out for. Uh, if you, you know, I thought Betty was going to be the next one to molt, if I'm honest. But uh, her abdomen's still kind of a pinkish sort of eggshell colour, uh, which suggests that she's not quite in pre-molt just yet. And um, yeah, Rosie molted around Christmas time. And uh, of course the Avic Versicolor is still at spidling stage. So remember, the blackish greyish abdomen, um, off food and hair kicking could well be signs that your tarantula is in pre-molt. So here we go, when the molting begins what you'll notice is that the tarantula flips over onto its back um, and they will then proceed to push their old skin off to reveal the new one uh, from inside. Uh, the web bed is a, a telltale sign that uh, they will molt very soon as you can see here it's quite thickly webbed along the ground and it's lying in it almost like I say like a bed it's almost like a comfort thing. When you find them like this don't worry um, they're not dead a lot of people seem to ask you know are they dead when they're on their back uh, no, uh, it's not normally the case. A tarantula's legs will curl up underneath it when it dies and they rarely die on their back unless something drastically wrong has gone with molting. But like I say, as long as the humidity is kept up and the prey is not in the enclosure when they're molting like this, uh, you should be okay. Try not to mess around with them um, because this could be fatal. Um, just let them get on with it and within a couple of hours or so you should have a fresh new tarantula in a brand new skin. Uh, this is an exciting time so yeah don't worry and let it get on with it they, they know what they're doing. Now once they've molted uh, I wait for them to flip back the right way round and I carry on and take the old molt out of the enclosure. Um, and we can use that to determine whether this is a male or a female. You may also see that they're looking a lot more vibrant in colour. Uh, it, it's, it's great when they molt because you see them at their very best. Um, I've always doubted this is a Honduran and curly hair as it was sold to me. Um, and it's looking more like a Costa Rican red tarantula to me now. But anyway, let's go on to how to sex the tarantula. So uh, to sex a tarantula, we take the molt. Um, if you're struggling to open up the abdomen, just mist it slightly. And we've got to look at the uh, buck lungs. These four white blobs on each side of the abdomen. And in between the first pair, this one and this one, we're looking for a flap. In this case, there isn't a flap, which means we have a male tarantula. If there is a flap, uh, which on Rose's old molt here, we can quite clearly see. I'll point it out with the pin. If you can see a flap like that, there, you have a female tarantula. Uh, like I say, with the absence of that, like we have on Alba's molt, um, you have a male. I suspected Alba was a male. Um, it, it seemed more leggy to me, which suggests it could be, but this is a definite way of finding out whether your tarantula is male or female. 
So there you go. Um, I hope I've covered everything uh, that you needed to know on malting um, from the beginning to the to the very end. Uh, if you've got any further questions, feel free to ask me, uh, message me on this video, and I'll do my very best to answer the the questions. Like I say, I don't think I've got a Honduran curly hair on my hands anymore. After seeing the colour uh, after the malt, I think I've got more of a Costa Rican red uh, tarantula, a Brachypalma uh, angustum. But um, I don't know, it's always been a bit of a mystery surrounding this one. Um, but I'm happy non nonetheless. Like I say, I hope this video has been of help, been of a help, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.